Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. I want to talk about that shooting in Dallas. You know, I'm not a super cop. Like, I'm sure they got down there working this case in Dallas. I'm sure they got these highly trained investigators down there. But I watched me a little bit of Andy Griffith. And I got a little bit of experience with liars. There's two kinds of liars in the world. There's a bad liar. And a bad liar, you got to ask him that question over and over and over again to finally get to the truth. Good liar, a prepared liar, they're going to tell you the truth right up front, at least a little bit of it. Makes it easier to lie if you put a little bit of truth in it. So let's talk about what they say happened. She worked a long day. She's tired, confused, and I've been there. You know, I work long days, and you get grumpy. I get you. And I've worked long enough days where I've been a little bit disoriented. It happens. So if she gets home, goes to the wrong apartment, walks in because the door is open. Because, you know, there's a lot of cops go around leaving their door open. And uh, goes inside, there's somebody there, gives them commands. They don't follow them, so she kills them. Okay. But see, today we found out something new. According to these newspapers, this lady's filed noise complaints against this guy before. So let's go back to that story. She's worked a long day. She's tired. Probably wants to go home and go to sleep. A little bit grumpy, maybe. And she's filed noise complaints against this guy before. I'm not a lawyer, but that sure sounds like motive to me. Maybe he's making a little noise. She goes up, knocks on the door, says, let me in like the witnesses say. You know, it's not open because those doors close automatically at that place. He opens the door and basically tells her to get lost. She doesn't like that, so she kills him. That makes a whole lot more sense. But, I mean, I don't know. I'm not a cop. But there's one other thing bothering me about this. Let's say I'm tired and I got a gun. I just want to go to sleep, and I walk in your house and start giving you commands. There's a word for that, two words actually. It's called a home invasion. It's called a home invasion. Her being a cop doesn't make her walking in this man's house lawful, even if the door was open. When she resorted to violence, assaulted him, uh, it's home invasion. So here's the thing. In Texas, they don't have murder one. Different kind of system there. But you know what happens if you kill someone during a home invasion in Texas? You're facing capital murder. Capital murder, what that means is you're looking at execution. All of a sudden makes a whole lot of sense why these cops are acting this way, doesn't it? And his house unlawfully assaults him. It's home invasion. Again, I don't know. I'm not a lawyer. Not a cop. Years ago, I uh, talked to a guy named Kevin Crosby. He's a panther. It was him and a whole bunch of white people. <laughs> we were sitting around talking, and the subject of Black Lives Matter and All Lives Matter came up, and he asked. And we're basically going around in a circle answering his question. You know, it gets to me, and I'm like, well, of course Black Lives Matter. I'll never forget it. Smart guy. Do they? That's what he said. Just the way he said it, too. We're going to find out right now. 
We're going to find out in Texas, in Dallas. We're going to find out if black lives matter. Because if this is the amount of justice they get, they don't. They don't. Now here's the thing. One last little thing that's bothering me. They searched this man's home afterward, trying to find a reason to have murdered him. This I live in the South, man. Police corruption down here, it's a sport. I've never seen anything like that. And what bothers me, not that it's done. I mean, everybody's got friends, and friends are going to cover for friends. Dallas PD is a big organization. Not one cop has crossed the thin blue line to say that's wrong. Not one. You know, you guys always want to say it's a few bad apples. See, the thing is that saying, it's not a few bad apples makes the others look bad. It's not a few bad apples, you know, and you can just throw those away and everything will be okay. It's a few bad apples spoils the bunch. And that certainly appears to have happened in Dallas. Because if you're wearing one of those uniforms and you let this slide, you're just as crooked as they are. It doesn't matter what else you do. You're trying to, to slander and villainize an unarmed man that was gunned down in his home. Y'all need to think about that. That is why people don't back the blue anymore. That is why you're not looked at like Andy Griffith. That's why people hate you. Plain and simple. Yeah, the idea that you force enforce laws that aren't necessarily just has something to do with it. But the fact that you're crooked has a whole lot more to do with it. Anyway, y'all have a good night. Just something to think about, just a theory. And uh, I really hope there's some justice in this one.